Hello, children of the internet. It is I, Foggy Senor, and welcome once again to Let's Play Batman Arkham Asylum. In the previous episode, we traveled from the penitentiary to the botanical gardens. We are here tracking Harley Quinn's movements to try and locate the secret Titan production facility that Joker is so interested in. Surely he wants it to, you know, create an army, create an unstoppable army. But Batman's not going to, uh, not going to just take that lying down. Batman is, ah, we have a secrets map from the Riddler. Let's see what he's got to say about it. Surely it will be something. My map will help you, Batman. Fascinating. Will it? It will help me? It will help me. I'm glad you... Create... I'm glad he took the time to create a map for me, just in case. Just in case all these Riddler challenges are getting well, too difficult for you. Always one step ahead. It won't be long before... I have an army of titan monsters at my fingertips. Oh, just imagine me being carried through the streets, stepping over the corpses of all those innocent citizens. It's going to be glorious, so oh, I can't wait. <laughs> okay, Joker. So somewhere in uh, this rum is where we need to be going, but it looks like we do have a Riddler riddle here. What? You found that one too? Preposterous. That's what you say, Mr. Riddler. I think it's totally expected because your challenges are not difficult. Mad Hatter. Obsessed from a young age with Lewis Carroll's book Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, Jervis Tetch an expert hypnotist embraced a delusion that he was the incarnation of a character in the story, the Mad Hatter. Using his skills for mesmerism, the Mad Hatter has committed many crimes, often themed around the book that inspired him, and his love of hats and headgear, going so far as to implant his hats with mind control chips to amplify his hypnosis skills. Above all other headwear, however, he covets Batman's distinctive cowl, and will stop at nothing to acquire it. Why? Is there any explanation for this other than we just need another weirdo to chase Batman around? Real name, Jervis Tetch. Professional criminal in Gotham City. Blue eyes, red hair, 4 foot 11 and 115 pounds. First appeared in Batman number 49 in November of 1948. Master of hypnotism and mind control. Obsessed with hats, especially one-of-a-kind items. Delusional schizophrenic with a fixation on Alice in Wonderland. Batman goes up against a lot of delusional schizophrenics, doesn't he? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Just having a thorough look around the... Yep, here we go. We must be thorough. What in the hell is this? No subject. Still no subject. It's just a thing that's there. It is just a... Uh, an... Uh, uh, Wall-mounted effigy of a, of Merlin. What in the hell? I'm digging the music that they're playing in this little room too. It's nice. Man, there's just. Detective who is only halfway to the end. Loser. Uh, dude. How are you still talking this shit? I've been here for like two hours. If that. Your challenges suck. You're so lame, dude.
I'm just casually walking around this room solving them like fucking the Monday the Monday edition of New York Times crossword okay I guess there's nothing else around here that is desperately in need of doing we shut down the generator in the last episode that was um electrifying this water so we may proceed past it of course I'm looking around for Riddler junk for always there is Joker teeth count as Riddler challenges for some osmosis reason. Break into the vent. Rip that shit off the wall. Who cares what it costs? Gotham City will foot the bill. Try to make sure there aren't multiple paths in these vent... Uh-oh. Hello. <laughs> I'm smarter than the situation. The Rat Catcher. Once employed as an actual rat catcher in Gotham, Otis Flanagan soon started using his natural gift, an affinity with and ability to control rats, to stage a variety of crimes. Eventually his control over the vermin grew until he threatened Gotham City with a veritable army of rodents. Incarcerated many times at Blackgate, he's able to do as much damage within prison as without, using his loyal pets to relay messages and transport materials inside the maze of ventilation ducts that wind through the giant prison. Well, I'm sure there's some kind of special cell that we could construct that would just, that would solve that issue, but... This is Gotham City. I'm going to assume that they're not smart enough to come up with something like that. Real name, Otis Flanagan. Professional criminal in Gotham City. Blue eyes, brown hair. 5 foot 11 and 155 pounds. First appeared in Detective Comics number 585 in April of 1988. Thorough knowledge of Gotham's sewer system and Blackgate prisons layout. Eerie ability to wordlessly communicate with and command all rats. Overvalues rodent life, especially in comparison to human life. Man, where was this guy in Arkham City? Or even Origins? There's plenty of sewer levels in those games. Just have a little, uh, rat catcher. Diversion. Uh-oh, you gotta stop... The plot's on hold so you can fight the rat catcher. Uh-huh. We must be thorough, or we will not defeat the Riddler, and he is the true enemy of the video game. Crush that vent cover. Bend it irreversibly. Blow up the walls. Batman just does not respect the infrastructure here at Arkham Asylum. Walk on through to the other side. This challenge can only be seen by those with a different view on life. Well, we've been in here before. What, where am I supposed to climb up at? Oh, oh. We have a jumpable platform here. That's probably what you're meant to do. Stairs. You know, thorough look around, make sure. Ah, don't do that.
I am now searching this room for Riddler. Yep, there we go. It doesn't take long. He tries to act like he's so smart hiding these things. Meanwhile, Joker is up there fucking with the Titan formula. Batman's got bigger and better things to worry about. Riddler. Riddler threatens the nation with stupid riddles. Okay, well, I don't think there's anything more on the bottom floor. Hey, hey. Climb, doofus. Are you kidding? All right, well, is there, is there stuff under here? In a way, in a way there is. Shut up, Joker. Just repeating the same thing over and over. Not exactly interesting. Not exactly interesting material, Joker. Gotta get some new jokes, bud. Okay, so I can climb up in this room, and that is what I will be doing. Another mutation. If Joker's making these monsters, he hasn't perfected the formula yet. I need to hurry. Mutation? Oh yeah, look at his arm. Look at the serial masturbating thug over here. Create me a bridge. That's smart. That's how Batman thinks. Batman looks around and goes, How do I destroy the environment to best suit my needs? This is really interesting. How do I get over there? How do I get higher up in this room? Hmm. I cannot grapple. I can climb up here, though. Ah, all right. Shimmy around the side. Zoop through here like that. And, um, ah, line that motherfucker up. <laughs> we can't get over there, though. Not exactly. I guess I know where I'm going next, and it's, I think, this door here. Help me! Answer him! How dare you threaten that guard? Take yourself a nap and don't get up until you have fixed yourself. Change your attitude, thug. Okay, can I just... I can't talk to this guy. Condition. Nervous. It's probably because Batman hasn't reassured him that the situation's okay. Oh well, I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it. 
We have upgrades to choose from. Which one will it be? Sonic Shock Battering. Upgrade to the Sonic Batarang. Allows this to be detonated once thrown to overload the suicide collar of a nearby henchman, incapacitating him. However, the residual interference will stop any further Sonic Batarangs from being effective in this location. Makes sense to me, I guess. Cryptographic power amplifier. We've upgraded the range. You know what? Go ahead. Do that. Upgrade the power. We need power. Okay, I came in through that vent. Got it. There's stuff over there. There's a Riddler trophy over there. I want it desperately hmm how much are we willing to bet that this is riddler related uh-huh uh-huh humpty dumpty an obese, bald man nicknamed Humpty Dumpty for his egg-like form. Humphrey Dumpler is obsessed with taking things apart and putting them back together. Are we sure that his egg-like form is where the nickname came from, guys? His crimes at first were minor break-ins, leading to small mechanical items no longer functioning due to Dumpler's inability to adequately reassemble them after taking them apart. But soon his obsession grew to the point that major disasters occurred in Gotham and Dumpler's crimes also extended to a gruesome attempt to fix his abusive grandmother by dismembering her and then attempting a Frankenstein-like reassembly. At Arkham, he is a model inmate, his quiet nature and imposing physique in inuring him to the madness surrounding him. Yeah, he needs to be in Arkham Asylum. What a... What a threat. Humphrey Dumpler, professional criminal, Gotham City. Brown eyes, no hair, six foot three, three hundred and forty five pounds, first appeared in Arkham Asylum Living Hell number one in July of two thousand three. It is a living hell. Maybe that's why he first appeared in that one. Extremely tall, heavy, and strong, possesses an almost unnaturally quiet, deliberate nature. Ritualized childhood abuse has led to a severe case of arrested development and an, an inability to assimilate into modern society. Obsessed with the processes of disassembly and reassembly. Yeah, ritualized childhood abuse will do that to you. Ah, blocked off. A collapse of some kind. No matter. Batman will find another way. And he'll leave this man here to clutch his... pained stomach. Ah, interview tape time. Where is Dr. Kellerman? How should I know what? It does seem careless of you to have lost him. I have no time for your games, Miss Isley. Tell me where you have him. We have security footage of you and him leaving your cell last night. So? Do I need to spell it out? We know you hypnotized him, or, or whatever it is you do. We know somewhere, but conveniently, security cameras across the island were mysteriously covered by leaves and flowers at 3 a.m. Now tell me where he is. I'm not saying a word unless you do exactly what I tell you. Now that is smart. Poison Ivy is using the situation as leverage to get herself out of the asylum. Or I, I'm assuming that's what she wants. Meh. Headless statue? Is this a riddle? No. Tis not. Help me! Someone! Get me out of this thing! <laughs> on the way. If you see him, send the annoying doctors to hell. That's the down one, right? Yeah, they're going down. 
down. Good. And remember, if you hear a collar go off, Batman's here. Joker's men are all wearing the security collars. I'll need to take out the operator first. Got it. We've got to get around this situation. He doesn't stand a chance. Not a chance. Yeah, he doesn't stand a chance. Dummy, the Batman is so stupid. And you're so smart. Okay, we're gonna make sure that we're not being looked at when I come out of this vent here. Above all these guys. Makes it a little bit easier. Now I gotta figure out how to get to what they call the operator. I guess I'm not going this way to get to him. Or am I? How do you get to him? It's gotta be back. Shit. Well. I am going this way. I do want to know what's over here. It just takes me back to this guy! Fuck! That doesn't help. That doesn't help me in any way. That helps me in no way, shape, form, or fashion. Ah, but I can get down to there, which is above that guy. Alright, alright. I see the path. I see what the... I think this may be what you were absolutely just like intended to do in this room. And then I just come out like here, maybe? Yeah? And then I could jump over to there, perhaps? No, 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 I can't do that. Come on up, Batman. Come on up. Batman's as good as dead. He's as good as dead because... Game no worky, right? This way. His life Acidated the main threat, but the hostages are still in danger. His life? No. So Unconsciousness. Actually, the easiest thing in the world.
Joker wanted the entrance to the Titan production plant guarded. I should pick up Harley's trail again so I can find it. Right, because it'll probably take us there. Luke Curtis. I just work here. What good is killing me? Well, it takes out another human with two first names. Start I there. Pass out. I can't stand heights. How dare you have such a stupid name? I'm sorry. I thought I was working for Dr. Young. I had no idea Joker was involved until he burst in the lab. Where is the lab? Back over there. I always get buzzed through. There's a hidden door, but, well, you know, it's hidden. I'll find it. Stay here. It's over there, he says, gesturing to nothing in particular. All right, one more interview tape. We found him. No thanks to you. The poor man could have died. So? He has a wife, a child. As do the plants he travels underfoot. The spores he breathes in and destroys have children. Why does he deserve anything more than them? You people ignore what is happening in front of your eyes. I refuse to put the welfare of plants before the welfare of people. And that is why you will lose. There's more happening than you know, Warden. It's all connected. No, it's not, silly. Okay, we will pick up the trail of Harley Quinn and do all this Titan nonsense, but... Naturally, there will be Joker things in this room, and that is first and foremost what I plan to... ...do. Don't you know it? I don't know why I'm still crouching, crouch sneaking around. I also don't know why detective mode is on. It looks like crap. Okay, we just have a... a nest. Literally, what is this? Oh. Well, you know, there's this too. Did I not destroy these Joker teeth? What the heck? No, I guess I walked by that. I didn't use the battering because I was worried about making noise. up there. I know I can get up there. Come on. <laughs> he still slides it to the side all neat like there's something to worry about. This wasn't a Riddler trophy, was it? It was just a thing. Yep, it's just a thing. But there is a, like a riddle or riddle, like a proper riddle up in here, isn't there? No closet in the garden, so someone is using the roof instead. I am in the aviary, right? Yep. Someone is using the roof, huh? Roof of what? I don't know. It's telling me the riddles are the riddles are nearby next to me or something. 
How frustrating. What is this riddle? Why do I not remember it? How close by is it if I stand here? Skeleton on the wall. Killer Moth. Okay. Drury Walker has a minor criminal, was a minor criminal, who adopted the identity of Cameron Van Cleer, a master criminal who in turn masqueraded as the costume supervillain Killer Moth. He is a hired gun for Gotham's gangsters, but his ingenious weaponry, including his cocoon gun, does not protect him from regular defeat at the hands of Batman. Drury Walker, a.k.a. Cameron Van Cleer. Professional criminal in Gotham City. Brown eyes, brown hair. 5'9", 155 pounds. Batman number 63 was his first appearance, and that was March of 1951. Obsessed with fame and identity change. Skilled inventor. Amoral and motivated by feelings of insecurity and inadequacy into criminal activities in an attempt at notoriety. Well, I would also adopt two different aliases from my real one if I felt inadequate. My real name is Jean-Claude Van Damme, and I run around at night dressed as the... the Punisher. I don't know. Just making shit up. Uh, I'm going to guess those Riddler things are on the other side of the secret facility, which I think is over here somewhere. Yep, look. Batman knows the way. We'll use our souped up cryptographic amplifier to get in. And of course it's another do it three times situation. Why not? If you're gonna waste my time with one of them. Wah wah wee wah. Secret door. Secret door in the wall. discovered our secret lab. Since you've made it this far, let me show you what I've cooked up. Oh my fucking god, of course. Of course it's gonna be this. Alright, now we're gonna slap, slap each other. Slap, 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 slap fight, slap fight, slap fight. My God, come on. These two may might be the most annoying motherfuckers in the world. Yeah. 
just send them tumbling at each other. Okay, now if I can just keep them locked in a cycle. <laughs> Established something of a rhythm. That guy's just standing there. He's not gonna do anything now. Why? They must be programmed to not overwhelm the player with too many attacks at once. That's gotta be what it is. Come on! Batman! Batman! Dummy! Dummy! Dumb! Dumb! I guess I can't ground takedown him because he's officially in pain, officially prone. Come on, dude, really? Greatest boss fight there ever was. Oh, good. Finally got him. All right. Slam! Come on and slam! Welcome to the jail! Oracle, I've destroyed the Titan production facility. But Joker escaped with enough to cause us real problems. Just when you think it can't get any worse. They've been using a venom-plant hybrid to create the Titan strain. The plant's the key. And there's only one person on Arkham Island who can help us. And what makes you think Poison Ivy will help you? If her plants are at risk, she'll listen. I have a sample of her pheromone signature on record. She'll be somewhere in the gardens. I'll track her down. Well then. Our new goal is to track down Poison Ivy, eh? Makes sense. Plants are involved. And Batman says that she can be persuaded if her plants are being threatened. So, that's what we have to look forward to in the next episode. Let me deal with this. I want to get a checkpoint. That's really what I, where I want to be. Yeah, there we go. To need something to get over this ravine. Uh oh. Never mind, we've got something. Line Launcher allows rapid movement between two horizontal points. Range 100 meters. Rate of, rate of travel 13.3 meters per second. Line strength 600 kilograms. Wow. Heavy. And off flies the Batwing. We now select our Line Launcher. And I saw a Riddler trophy, so that'll be our first order of business, yes. There is no way you were doing this alone. Who's helping you? Nope, Riddler. I just I'm that damned good. Now I can go find Ivy. Perfect. And we've got ourselves a checkpoint, so. No enemies in this room, still safe. We will cut it here, and we will go after Poison Ivy in the next episode. 
So look forward to that. Until then, I have been Foggy Senor. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Ciao now. Thank you.